Hi, I'm Jan McTavish. I'm the creator of Peace Labyrinth. The idea of creating a peace labyrinth lined with quilts, depicting the world's major faiths still in existence today, first came to me in a dream. I had a dream where I was walking a labyrinth. I was going back in time as I walked the path, passing displays representing all the major faiths and religions still existing in the world today and learning more about them as I went. I carried a rock with me that represented all the negativity and uneasiness people feel when confronted with new ideas, different perspectives, and cultures that are unfamiliar to them. When I reached the center of the labyrinth, I came to a sparkling waterfall where I was encouraged to leave my rock and my own discomfort behind to be washed clean of all negativity. I then passed through a garden where I was encouraged to share the peace and love I found there with everyone I met. When I awoke from this dream, I realized that the answer to what I was looking for is true information, not sound bites and propaganda. Helen Keller once said, I do not want the peace which passeth understanding. I want the understanding which bringeth peace. Like a few other dreams that I have had, I wanted to replicate my dream experience for others using art quilts. However, the task seemed overwhelming. So first I decided to build a two-dimensional labyrinth that could be walked with a finger, and you can see this behind me. However, it didn't present much information or come even close to creating the same feeling that I experienced in my dream. And we are so trained not to touch quilts, I couldn't get anybody to touch it. Meanwhile, people kept encouraging me to make a three-dimensional labyrinth that they could walk. I knew that I had the skills I needed to do it, but I didn't know if I would live long enough to complete it. However, if you don't start something, you certainly can't complete it. So I started. Soon others offered help. In fact, the help seemed to come to me just when I needed it, especially if I stopped trying to control everything and just got out of the way and let it happen. By the time the labyrinth was completed, 62 people had helped to create it. Working night and day, seven days a week, I was able to complete the Peace Labyrinth in 22 months, and it opened in Duluth in May 2012. Since then, it has traveled throughout the Midwest. In November 2014, it was given to the Dayton International Peace Museum to continue its journey. When you go through the Peace Labyrinth, you will be walking by the faith panels of 17 faiths. You can read on there some basic information about them, some answers to some of the questions that are important to Americans today, and also see some pictorial uh, embellishments on the quilt panels that I put there for children and even adult children to look at. So you will finally come to the Peace Waterfall and then a Peace Garden. And from there you will pass a quilt that has the Peace Heroes on it. Different people that have won Nobel Peace Prize for uh, things that they have done that foster peace in the world. As you exit the labyrinth, you will pass by each faith panel, but all that you will see is their version of the law of reciprocity, or more commonly known to us as the golden rule. This is one of the most important commonalities that all of these faiths share. Take time to find your own special peace and meaning within the labyrinth. This is the next chapter in the story of this peace labyrinth, and in fact, it is the most important chapter thus far, and you get to write it. I hope you enjoy the peace labyrinth that you see. Take your time to enjoy it, to re learn more there. Come back as many times as you want. The important thing is that the most important part of the peace labyrinth is your seeing it and you're going forth with that in your hearts.